Eastern Crossing here. guys we are in St. Paul Alberta it's a pretty big town and let me get across the main drag here we are on 50th Avenue which is the main street through town Maria's back there she went to 7-eleven and I saw these and I said I gotta come take a look at this. Found something unique to these little towns. Somebody's selling a truck here. <laughs> look at that. They put eyes on it. And look at this car. Look at that. Pretty nice. Lightning, Lightning McDeadly. That's the name of this truck. I am speed. It's a Plymouth. They put eyes on it. Ka chow. Ha, <laughs> pretty cool. I look at this truck here. Some crazy stuff that people did. Amazing little stuff. An international harvester. Do they still make those? Look. It's the international harvester. R180 series. Pretty neat. Who knows if they still make these. But this little thing would be fun to zip around with a 426 Hemi. That would be fun to zip around St. Paul's. Start doing some donuts. Have the RCMP chase you down and throw you in jail. So let me head back to 7-Eleven. And okay, I can go. I can cross the street. The lights are blinking. It's a pretty big town here. They got car dealerships. They got hotels. They got all kinds of stuff. So not bad. There's the rest of the main drag. And the main attraction in this town is a UFO landing strip or landing pad. So we're gonna go look for the UFO landing pad right now. So stay tuned. Come to you from 7-Eleven in St. Paul, Alberta. UFO landing pad coming next, stay tuned. I'm getting back in the truck, I'm cold. We made it guys. We are the world's first UFO landing pad in St. Paul, Alberta. They built this pad a long time ago so that when UFOs come to Earth, they can land here and that they are welcome here. So let's go take a look. See the little gift shop or cafeteria, whatever it is, shaped like a UFO. And this is where UFOs can land. They built this spot for them so that they can land here safely. St. Paul to infinity. See how the picture of the UFO? Welcoming them to Earth. And here's a map of Canada. And we are here. Uh, they got flags from all the provinces of Canada here to welcome the UFOs and this time capsule contained the letters contain address of to Canadians to be open on June the 3rd 2067 so this is where a UFO is welcome to land it better be a small enough UFO because it's not a lot of space. It's not that big. Somebody 
<coughs> Somebody had a crazy idea and built this UFO landing pad here in downtown St. Paul, Alberta <laughs> next to the baseball stadium over there baseball field, baseball diamond, whatever you call it and this is right downtown that is 50th Avenue which is the main drag and you can walk down there and see what they have down here I'm not too sure oh here they have some more plaques Centennial you want to read it just press pause, freeze it, and then you can read it. It's too much. Republic of St. Paul, Stargate Alpha. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. So there you can see the little gift shop. Cafeteria. Where oh, it's a tourism bureau. Bureau. Shaped like a UFO. I like these rocks. These are some cool rocks I got down here. And there's a time capsule. Pretty wild stuff. So, too bad there's no UFOs landing today. Would have been fun to see. One of these days, I hope they show up. And I hope we're nearby so we can check it out. So, cool stuff. I've always wanted to come to these places. UFO landing pad. St. Paul, Alberta. That's for compact UFOs. Don't get too big. Okay, you're not going to fit. Anyway, this was really fun really really fun some wild idea somebody had here crazy crazy idea so there you had it coming to you from st paul alberta this is rural canada at its best thank you for watching until next time bye bye